For the latest in strategic affairs, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon for updates. Hello and welcome. This week, 59 years ago, one of the fiercest battle fought by Indian Army troops took place in the remote area of Ladakh against the Chinese. The Battle of Chushul or Rezangla has gone down in India's history as one of the most heroic but futile battles. That's the topic of this week's Simply Nitin. I'm Nitin Gokhale. So on 18th November 1962, the Charlie Company of 13 Kumau Battalion fought a fierce battle against rampaging Chinese and fought till the last man, last bullet. What happened exactly? And where is Chushul or Rizangla? Those of you who have been watching the standoff between Indian and Chinese troops through 2020 must have realized that Rizangla, Richinla, this Pangur Gap, the Gurung Hill, all these names suddenly sprung into Indian consciousness in August 2020, when Indian troops occupied the peaks overlooking the Spangur Gap. On one side is the Gurung Hill, the other side is the Magar Hill, and the Rizangla peak or the highest uh, point in that range of Kailash Hills is the turning point in the standoff between India and China in 2020. Because of that operation, in August, that is on 29th and 30th of August 2020, the Chinese were forced to sue for peace and ask for disengagement. And for the next three months, from 1st of September till February or even January 2021, Indian and Chinese troops were eyeball to eyeball. Tanks were 50 meters apart from either side. But that battle did not go beyond looking at each other angrily and standing against each other through the harsh winter of 2020. 59 years ago, however, the battle was real, it was kinetic and it was fought by Indian troops of the Charlie Company, as I said, a company's 100 men strong uh, force of a battalion. And this Charlie Company was mainly drawn from troops who resided largely in the uh, region of Rewadi, which is not very far from Delhi. They were mostly Ahirs of Rewadi. And they were led by an indomitable Indian Army officer called Major Shaitan Singh. Now, as all of you know, Shaitan in uh, Hindi is uh, actually equivalent to devil in English. God only knows why his parents named him Shaitan Singh. But he actually proved to be a Shaitan for the Chinese, the rampaging Chinese. They had overwhelmingly superior numbers when Shaitan Singh was leading his Charlie company, when they were, the Chinese were trying to break through the Spangur Gap and get into the Chushul area, which would have given them access to most parts of Ladakh. All of you who have seen the uh, standoff visuals and the disengagement visuals between Indian and Chinese army in 2021, would realize that this area of Chushul, Rizangla, Richinla, Spangur Gap, Magar Hill, Gurung Hill is absolutely barren with no vegetation, no place to hide. So, as all of you know, in 1962, the first attack uh, against Indian Army by the Chinese came not in Ladakh, but in Arunachal. Uh, what is now Arunachal Pradesh uh, was then uh, the Northeast Frontier Agency. It started on 20th of October 1962. Even in Ladakh, the same day, there was an attack on Galwan. Now, for nearly 58 years, everybody had forgotten about Galwan. Galwan also came into consciousness when in June 2020, there was a big feasticuffs and clash between Indian and Chinese troops. And uh, 20 Indian uh, brave hearts made a supreme sacrifice. And of course, uh, unspecified number of Chinese, some say 30, some say 45, were also killed. That was a turning point as far as India's recent standoffs and skirmishes with the Chinese is concerned. Now, even in 1962, the first attack by the Chinese had come in Galwan. If you look at the map of the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh, Galwan is a valley. It's got a river flowing, the Galwan River. 
and uh, it can get very cold and can get very difficult to uh, operate because breathing issues are there. It's at an altitude of more than 13, 14,000 feet. Similarly, in Chushul, where which we are talking about the Battle of Chushul or Battle of Rizangla, the, the same thing happened. It was bitterly cold. It happened on the 18th of November, as I mentioned, just two days before the Chinese declared unilateral ceasefire in 1962. Now, uh, the Charlie Company or the 13 uh, Kumau Battalion was left to defend this large area. And the Charlie Company took on the challenge and they decided that no matter what happens, they're not going to retreat from there. Many reports of that time and subsequently verified by the Chinese as well as uh, Indian sources say that this 120 men strong group of soldiers, indomitable, courageous, and of course, giving no quarter to the Chinese, killed over three to 400 Chinese. Some accounts say 1300 Chinese were killed, but given the state of uh, the ammunition supply and uh, the numbers that were involved from the Indian side, 1300 may be an exaggerated figure, but at least 300 Chinese soldiers were killed before the Chinese overran this company. They lost everyone in that uh, battle, save for one soldier apparently, who came back to uh, live and uh, narrate the story of exactly what happened. This is a battle which will go down as one of those battles where the cause was lost, but the soldiers were not willing to give up. Uh, you have uh, read, you have seen films about the charge of the Light Brigade, uh, which, which is a famous battle. Uh, but this was more than the charge of the Light Brigade. Against 3,000 odd rampaging Chinese, 120 Indian soldiers of 13 Kumau Regiment fought and fought bravely for almost a full day before they ran out of ammunition and they ran out of men to fight. All of them were killed, including Major Shaitan Singh, who made the supreme sacrifice. And this is the place where uh, Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh inaugurated a revamped and a relaunched war memorial uh, for the first time in 58 years or 59 years, acknowledging publicly in such a large manner or a befitting manner the sacrifice of the Kumau soldiers or the uh, Charlie Company soldiers. There was a small memorial when I went there last in 2014. Uh, you will see on the screen, uh, I am paying my uh, respect by placing a wreath on the uh, on the old uh, war memorial in uh, Rizangla, which was lonely and uh, completely kind of uh, isolated from uh, rest of the uh, population in Ladakh. Nobody was paying attention. It was a very small one, uh, small square of uh, remembrance uh, uh, pillar, you can say, which was erected. And for so many years, it remained neglected. But after the fight in Galwan in 2020, and then the action in Kailash Hills or in Rizangla and Chushul uh, by the Indian Army troops, uh, which forced the Chinese to retreat, the Indian government, the Ministry of Defense and the uh, Northern Command decided to honor not only the sacrifices of the Charlie Company in, in 1962, but also of the Braves of Galwan 2020. Now, there will be an auditorium named after Major Shaitan Singh in uh, the uh, newly built war memorial in uh, Chushul or in Rizangla. There will be the names of all those who died uh, fighting the enemy, uh, were killed in action in 1962, and those who uh, again made a supreme sacrifice in June 2020. The men of Bihar Regiment, other artillery units, minor units, all of them who uh, sort of sacrificed their life in uh, June 2020. This is a major tribute to the Indian Army soldiers and uh, this will become in due time uh, a tourist attraction in Ladakh which is already gearing up for receiving many more tourists than before. As we did in one of the episodes, as we said in one of the episodes previously on Simply Nitin, Ladakh is now poised to become one of the major tourist destinations not just for Indians but also for foreigners. And then this war memorial with uh, all the attendant facilities like the National War Memorial in Delhi, will become a major tourist attraction for those who visit Ladakh. Uh, this is the addition to uh, many other attractions in uh, Ladakh. And uh, one hopes that their story, the story of the sacrifice of the uh, 13 Kumau uh, soldiers and those who uh, sacrificed their life in June 2020 at Galwan, 
will inspire many more Indians, many more foreigners, many more youngsters to uh, join uh, the Indian Army or even uh, do service to the nation as they go along. War memorials, uh, the war uh, huts, war memorial huts are all meant to inspire, to uh, get stories which will uh, give confidence to the next generation that yes, our ancestors, our uh, generation before us fought against uh, an overwhelmingly superior in numbers Chinese and uh, didn't win the battle, but uh, sort of set an example to uh, the rest of the nation. This is the first time it has been acknowledged in such a manner. And therefore, I would think that uh, this is something that we all must celebrate. And that's why this episode of Simply Nitin. One more uh, factoid, if I can uh, use that word, is that for a group of 120 soldiers, this Charlie Company of 13 Kumau Battalion won the highest number of bravery awards. Won Paramveer Chakra for Major Shaitan Singh for leading uh, the battle or a hopeless battle, a lost battle and yet fighting to the last. Uh, eight Veer Chakras, which is the third highest gallantry award in India. Four Sena medals gallantry and one mention in dispatches, making it the highest companies in Indian Army. Company is 100 men or 120 men strong group of soldiers in a battalion uh, to receive such large number of bravery awards. Therefore, uh, one must uh, visit uh, Ladakh and uh, not just visit Ladakh, but also re visit Rizangla, where this new war memorial has come up. There will also be a clay model or a, a model for uh, of the battle that took place in 1962, apparently at the uh, at the war memorial itself. And of course, uh, this will mean that uh, now slowly the Indian nation, Indian people are coming around to acknowledge what happened in 1962. Otherwise, it was seen as a shameful incident. It was seen as something that we should forget. And it played on uh, not only the minds of the people, but also on the decision makers. Thankfully, what China did in Ladakh in 2020 has turned the tide. Uh, the military had overcome the ghosts of 1962 long ago. But even as a nation, we the people, are now uh, realizing what kind of sacrifices, what kind of bravery was displayed by the Indian Army against a uh, far larger and far superior uh, adversary in 1962. There's nothing to be ashamed about. India was caught unawares or India was miscalculating of the Chinese intentions in 1962. Not anymore. 2020, as I've said in one of the programs earlier in Simply Nitin, is not 1962. Today, the Indian Army is well poised to take on any offensive, any mischief from the Chinese. And therefore, the establishment of a revamped, larger, bigger, impressive war memorial at Rizangla, near Chushul, is uh, something that we must all welcome and acknowledge. That's all I have this week. So you know where to reach us uh, to give comments, feedback. Our social media handles are well known. They are also displayed on the screen. Make us reach 100,000 subscribers or 1 lakh subscribers as soon as possible. It's dependent on what you do, how quickly you subscribe. If you are a repeat uh, viewer and if you are coming for the first time, both need to subscribe uh, to our channel so that we get those requisite numbers to bring you more and more programs. Uh, we welcome your comments and of course we keep coming back to you every week with such interesting episodes and uh, facts and anecdotes. Until the next time, it's goodbye.